Hello guys, Raj here. Looks like summer is back. So am I with another video. In this video, we are going to learn about ECS, ECR and Fargate, including an end-to-end -end demo of running your container in Fargate and accessing it from internet. All right, let's get learning. All right, so let's now take a look at the flow from application to container. So you have your app uh, running in a VM or in your local uh, laptop. Then you dockerize the app and you create the Docker image. And then you save that image in a repository. So what are some examples of a repository? Docker Hub, you can save your Docker image in a Docker Hub. And another option is Amazon Elastic Container Registry or ECR in short. So what are some of the features of ECR? So ECR is fully managed. So it eliminates the need to operate and scale the infrastructure required to power your registry. So there is no software to install and manage our infrastructure to scale. Um, it's also highly available. Uh, since it's running in AWS, it's highly scalable, redundant, and durable. Uh, it is secure. ECR uh, transfers the images over HTTPS, and it automatically encrypts your images at rest. And also on top of it, you can utilize AWS IAM to add more control. And it also enables you to have a simpler workflow because it has native integration with other AWS services such as ECS, Docker CLI, etc. So now that you have the Docker image in the repository, now it's time to run it. So what are our options? One traditional option is uh, create a ECS cluster and then run EC2s and then uh, deploy your container in one of those EC2s. It's good, but then again, you have to deploy it. Uh, you have to take care of the scheduling, scaling, and there is some management involved. And the newer option is AWS Fargate. So what are the advantages of AWS Fargate? There are no clusters to manage. You don't have to create EC2. You don't have to refresh the AMI. Uh, the scaling is seamless uh, and you pay for what you use. Uh, it's integrated with AWS ecosystem and also it is highly available. So my question to you guys is, all, this, all these characteristics is very, very similar to serverless. So is Fargate serverless? or container? Uh, we are gonna answer that after the demo. Now let's get our hands dirty. For this demo, I'm running my application in EC2, and then we are gonna dockerize it and create a Docker image. Okay, let's start by spinning up a EC2 where we can run our app and dockerize the application. So I'm going to click EC2, click launch instance, uh, select Amazon Linux 2 AMI, T2 Micro, because free is best. And I'm going to use the IAM role that I have created, which allows this EC2 to communicate with ECR. I'm going to add storage, um, no tags, configure security groups. I'm going to use an existing security group, uh, which has the port 80 and 22 open. Okay, and then I'm going to uh, launch the EC2 uh, using a key pair I have. Uh, let me click launch instance. Uh, I'm going to pause the video guys and come back when the instances are up. Okay, I am SSH in guys. However, before I start this, I just wanted to say that uh, you do not have to memorize all this. There's a page which shows you all the steps. I'm going to give the link uh, in the description as well. So what are we are going, what we going to do is I'm just gonna follow all these steps uh, where I install the software, install Docker, and then I'm gonna create the Docker image, and then uh, I'm gonna push it to uh, ECR before we launch it using Fargate. All right, let's get started. So first I'm going to run the EOM install command. 
uh, yum update command to update all the packages in this uh, EC2. Okay, all the update is done. Now I am going to clear the screen and install Docker. Okay, Docker is installed. Uh, I'm going to start the Docker. Okay, Docker is started. And now I'm going to add the user ID EC2-user to the Docker group uh, so that I can execute Docker commands without being uh, the super user. Okay, let's see if everything is working good. Okay, seems like everything is in order. Uh, now what we are going to do is uh, create the Docker image. Okay, I'm going to clear the screen and create the Docker file. Okay, now I'm going to edit the Docker file. I'm just going to change uh, this hello world uh, to be a little bit more personal for Fargate. There we go. And then I'm going to save the file. Uh, now we are going to do the important step, which is uh, clear the Docker image from that Docker file. So I'm going to clear the screen and the name of our image will be hello world. Okay, so it is going to download all the um, softwares needed. So I'm going to pause the video and come back. We are back. Uh, the Docker image is successfully built. We're going to clear the screen and just check if the image is indeed there. Okay, it is there. We have our Docker image ready. Now let's push it to ECR, which is the repository. Before we push it to the repository, uh, we have to create a repository. So we are gonna go to ECR. Okay, click get started. And I'm just gonna put Fargate. Uh, Fargate. So we created uh, this repository. Uh, this link, guys, it's going to be uh, used in the commands. So I'm just going to click this icon and copy this. So what I'm doing now is I'm following the steps for push your image to Amazon Elastic Container Registry. So we already created the ECR repository using console. Uh, so I'm going to start from this step number two. Okay, we are back to our console. Going to clear the screen, uh, paste the command, and I'm going to replace this with the URI of our repository. Here we go, press enter. Okay, so we tag the image with the URI of our repository. Now we are going to uh, run the Docker login command. Okay, I'm going to replace this with the region we are working. US East 1. So this gives this huge uh, string. All you have to do is just copy from this Docker login and I'm going to right click here. So it pests the whole thing and then the login is succeeded. There's a lot of information guys in the screen. So I'm going to clear this up a little bit. Now I'm going to push the image into the repository. But before I do that, let me show you that the repository is indeed empty at this point. Here is the repository. Click this. There is no image in there. So now let me go back to our SSH session. Docker push. Again, I'm going to use the URI. Press enter. It's pushing. Okay, it is done. So now let's go back to the repository. I'm going to refresh this. There we go, so our image is here. Let's run this image in a Fargate container. Okay, if we type Fargate, you will see ECS comes up in the search box. It's because Fargate runs in an ECS cluster. Okay, we go to ECS, and currently if I go to a cluster, there are no clusters. So I click create cluster and we select this uh, powered by AWS Fargate, uh, which does not need an EC2. Uh, click next step. I am going to give this name as Fargate cluster. 
click create and um, the cluster is created and if I click ECS instance you will see there are now uh, EC2 instance running. So now that the cluster is created we have to define a task. So what are tasks and container? Let's take a look. So if I want to show it visually containers run within a task and task CPU and memory is shared by the containers running inside. So in this, in this diagram, you can see container one and container two are kind of sharing the same CPU and memory um, equally. However, you can allocate container specific CPU and memory. Uh, so container one may take way more CPU and memory than container two. Okay, back to the console. Uh, let's create the task definition. We're gonna select the Fargate. Um, I'm gonna put Fargate demo app. Okay, we're going to keep everything same, task size. So you can see there are some options available. Uh, we are going to select the lowest one. Uh, same for the CPU. So now we have the task defined. Now we are going to add our container in it. So container name, uh, we're just going to put hello world, okay? Now the image is gonna be the URI for the Docker image. So if I go back to ECR and then copy this image, come back to ECS, um, paste the image, Keep the soft limit as 128, and then I'm just going to open port 80 for TCP. Keep everything else same. Click add, click create. Okay, so uh, we just created the task, but it is not running yet. So click this task definition, and then in the action, run task. Okay, then click forget and VPC, we are going to use the existing VPC. I'm just going to put two subnet just in case. Uh, keep everything as is, click run task. Okay, click the task. Pending, I'm gonna pause the video and come back. Okay, our task is running. If I click this, uh, you can go to uh, view CloudWatch logs. We are not going to do that for now. Uh, okay, this is the public IP. And before I access this, I want to show you guys something. So if I come to AWS Management Console and go to EC2, you will see there are no running instances, even though our container is running. Okay, we are gonna go back, uh, got this public IP. I'm going to open a window. Okay, we have this incognito window. I'm gonna paste the IP, press enter. Here we go guys, hello world from Fargate. So we have done end to end, starting from dockerizing our app to pushing it to repository and running our image in a Fargate container and finally accessing it from internet. So coming back to the quiz, is Fargate serverless or container? Dun dun dun, it is both. Stranger things have existed. Before I end this video, I just wanted to say thank you to my first 100 subscribers. I know it's a small number, but to me it is meaningful because I started with zero and now we are 100 subscribers strong. I have some cool plans for this channel. Alright, let's have a summer filled with learning and fun. See you guys later. Bye.